and a group of Rutgers football players in Tom's River tonight playing at RWJ Barnabas Health Field of Dreams. But instead of a win on the scoreboard, they won a victory for inclusion. News 12's Keith Kaczynski with more tonight. Keith. Yes, yeah, so the game is over, but it was a great night for football here in Tom's River, full of smiles and memories made as a group of Rutgers Scarlet Knights football players took on the Tom's River Warriors inspirational team. And we had the pleasure of capturing it on camera. Two, three, Warriors! Here at RWJ Barnabas Health Field of Dreams in Tom's River, under the lights, the Scarlet Knights football players face off against their new friends, hoping to help them live out their dreams. Hopefully love and excitement and um, friendship. The whole you know, goal of it is just to have fun. Have fun and you know, you know, in this game that we do, we all love each other a lot. So, you know, let's spread some of that love too with each other. You can, you can so dive now, you don't have to camera. Game. The Tom's River Warriors inspirational team is a group of kids and young adults from Monmouth and Ocean County who live with special needs and a passion for playing the game of football. Parents here appreciate their kids being included. It's big for me, it's big for him. Um, it, you know, he gets the chance to, you know, make friends and social skills and uh, just to be a part of a team. Like any game, there has to be a winner. And the Tom's River Warriors inspirational team fought hard, making some big plays, zooming around the field, playing shut down defense, defeating the Scarlet Knights 42 to 12. Winners only win. I'm surprised, to be honest. <laughs> I'm surprised we even won against the tallest team. Are they as good as you thought they would be? Yeah. Yeah. Plus, they got the speed and everything. Yeah, you have speed, too. You put on the Jets yeah. a couple times. Hey, I'm the cheetah. I run fast. Yeah, you got to love the confidence. Now, the field of the dreams here, it was established by Christian and Mary Kane. Their son suffered a traumatic brain injury, and this gives him the opportunity to have this space and spend time with kids um, who, are, who are in the same boat and need a space like this to feel this type of inclusion. Here in Tom's River, I'm Keith Kosinski, News 12, New Jersey. Keith, thank you, that's a great story tonight.